Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with a quick tips tutorials brought to you by Photoshop Elements Custom Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster. We want us to know how to separate the different layers from this grayscale image. And basically, there's five different layers that we're looking at. There's white, light gray, medium gray, dark gray, and black. So the first problem with this image when you zoom in, you're going to see is that it's really jaggedy. So if you try to take the magic tool and try to grab one portion, you see what's happening is it's grabbing other portions of different shades and you don't want that to happen. If I try to grab this right here, you see that it's grabbing all kinds of weird stuff. You don't want that to happen. So what you have to do first is enlarge the whole image. And basically that will make the resolution of the whole project bigger. Right now, this canvas is 14 uh, inches wide by 11 and a half tall. Let's make it really big. I'm going to unlock the image, go over to image resize canvas, and I'm going to make this from 13 inches to 50 inches by 50 inches. I'll hit OK. And now you can see when I zoom out how much bigger I'm going to make it. So if I go like this and bring it really big, that's going to help us to be able to fix the project. It's going to make our new image a lot sharper. So for this particular video, I'm only going to do a portion of the frog because this will take a long time to do. So I'll take the cropping tool and I'm just going to crop this portion right around here like this. I'm going to hit OK. And now we just got a small portion. And what we want to do is to be able to grab each individual grayscale, but it's still fuzzy. So we're going to have to fix that by hand. So now that we enlarge the photo, what I'm going to do is get rid of the background first with the magic tool. I'm going to set this tolerance down to like about 25% and I could just click anywhere in the white and take a look to make sure that it's not encroaching on the actual subject. That looks pretty good. As soon as we hit delete, that takes out our background which is great. Now, some portions we may actually have to fix because it's still in pretty bad condition. You can see how all this is really gradated all over the place. But let's go ahead and give this a try. Um, I'm going to try to grab this the gray color. And you can see it actually did a pretty good job there at 25%. Uh, and this is going to be this gray. So I'm going to make a new layer right up here and then take the eyedropper tool and pick the color that I want, which is the dark gray. And then I can take the uh, paint bucket and, on, and since we're on our new layer, I'll just paint that right in. And that painted the whole piece. I can hit control D to deselect and that just fixed that portion. Now let's go back to the original and let's pick a different portion here. And let's try the uh, medium gray here. This was the dark gray that we did. Let's try the medium gray. And that looks pretty good. It actually grabbed everything we want and grab the uh, eyedropper tool, grab the gray that we want and make sure you're up on a new layer right there. And with the paint bucket, just drop it right in and boom. And there we go. That's our next layer. So, okay, we got the dark gray and the medium gray. Let's go ahead and grab the light gray. We'll come down here and with the magic tool, we're going to grab everything that's supposed to be light gray right there. And then there's some up here too to grab. So I'll hold the shift and you can see on the magic tool, there's a little plus. If I was taking stuff away, I'd hold the alt down, which would show us a minus. But in our case, we want a plus. So if I hold the shift and click up here, you see it grabbed the rest of what's supposed to be gray, light gray that is. And there's a couple other portions that looks like it's supposed to be light gray. And I think that's going to be this one here this one here, this here, and this one here, and also this one here. I think that's it for that. So now we can, with the eyedropper tool, grab the color that we want, which is right there, and then make sure that we got a new layer. Then with a the paint bucket, just click in the middle of any one of these and it recreates the same color on all those other portions that we picked. Control D to deselect and now let's find the black, what needs to be black. So everything that needs to be black, we're going to turn black. So let's go ahead and grab the original. Then with the magic tool, let's grab everything that's supposed to be black. Remember the tolerance is set to 25%. That looks good. I'm going to hold the shift and grab this one too, this one too, and this one down there. We're going to create a new layer with the paint bucket. We're going to fill these in. Boom. And I can turn off the original. Check it out, our black layer. 
And finally, what's left over, as I toggle the original back here, and you can see what's left over is the pure white. So what I want to do is grab those portions. I'm going to go to the original, grab the magic tool, and click on what's supposed to be. Now you see that? It grabbed more than what I wanted. So we're going to have to do this one by hand. We're just going to grab a white palette right there, grab an actual brush. Remember, we're going to start a new layer. There's a new layer. We're just going to paint this one in by hand since it's easy just like that and then the rest of them which are going to be these down here I can toggle this back and forth go back here with the magic brush let's go ahead and grab these shift click on each one of these finally this little tiny one here remember our new layer that had white up there we're going to have, turn that one on with the paint bucket and just click right in there and that's all there is to it when we zoom in we can see how high resolution that is when we turn all the layers off and turn on just the background this is our original and as we add each layer in, boom, 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 and how much higher, sharper this is. If we turn off the background, there we go. That's our new image. We can save it and then choose each layer individually to turn on or off and print them individually as PNGs. And that's all there is to it. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Rich calling it quits for this tutorial, saying over and out.